Welcome to Jackie's Craft Table. Hello, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'm here for Fun Stamper's Journey and Spellbinders. I get to show you the April stamp of the month. This stamp set is called Bold Beautiful, and you get 14 red rubber stamps in this set. Here is the frame stamp and the centerpiece pops out. They made it removable so that when you stamp it up, you don't get ink on the center and then transfer that ink onto your card project. The beautiful sentiment fits perfectly inside the frame. And then you get lots of beautiful floral images and leaves. I'm gonna pull all of these out for you. They stick really well on this white sheet that they provide. I really love red rubber stamps. And the images in this set have such delicate thin lines to them. They're just beautiful. I was so excited about this set when I saw it. I just couldn't wait to play with it. Floral stamp sets are really my favorite kind to play with. And they include a lot in this set. They have several club kits available every month. And if you subscribe to more than one, they do give you a nice discount. Once I'm done pulling off all of these pieces, I go ahead and throw away the negative piece. And then you can use the plastic sheet for the backing. You can put it in a storage pouch, or sometimes I just put mine back in the cellophane bag that it came in. For my card project, I'm going to stamp the frame onto a piece of acetate. And I'm going to remove the foam piece in my Mini Misty because these are rubber stamps. So you don't need your foam piece. And I'm going to use some stays on ink. I'm going to center my frame on this acetate. And the door of the Mini Misty just picks it up easily. This is fun ink to use because you can stamp right onto your acetate. And it shows up dark and crisp. I'm using my Mini Misty so that I can stamp it a few times. Once I stamp down and open up the door of the Mini Misty, it kind of pulls the acetate up, so I do have to make sure that's snugged up in the corner. This stays on ink comes in several different colors too. And then if you do happen to miss stamp, you can use an alcohol swab to wipe it up off your acetate and it just comes off clean. And now I can stamp the sentiment inside my frame. I really love how this looks. And you could pair it with another sentiment. But for this video, I'm not going to add any other sentiments to it. Okay, so here is the acetate all done. And I keep the backing on it just so you can see it better. I'm using the rectangle hemstitch dies from Spellbinders to cut out a piece of Desert Storm cardstock. This is the 80 pound version. I'm going to put this panel back into my mini Misty and I'm going to create my own pattern background. I usually just use an acrylic block to do this. However, this time I'm using a light brown ink. It's a nice warm brown ink. It's called Potter's Clay by Memento. And I wanted to be able to stamp it up twice to get it just a little bit darker. But just look how beautifully that stamps out. These are just delicate and fun images. And I probably should have stamped out more stamps at one time, but I will speed this up so we're not here all day. Lately, I've been enjoying catching up on the card crafters on YouTube that I follow and watch. I am working from home these days, but it's nice to take a mental break and watch some of your favorite YouTube channels and card craft while we're stuck inside for a while. The weather's been getting a little bit nicer here in Chicagoland. Every day, my family and I go out for a walk, and today we actually pulled out our bicycles and went for a bike ride, which was a lot of fun. I hope you all are finding the time to craft and do some things that you like to do, and I hope you all are hanging in there and taking good care of yourselves. Now back to the card. Some of the stamps I'm stamping off of the edge, but I am going to cut this panel down a little bit. I decided I wanted to mat it with a piece of colored cardstock. So here is my panel, all ready to color in. 
I think that looks so pretty. I'm actually going to pull out my Moonlight Jelly Roll pens. I want the coloring to show up really brightly behind my acetate. And I'm doing what I like to call scribble coloring. I'm trying to color within the lines because the Jelly Roll pens will obscure the lines of your stamped image. And I'm not even going all the way to the edge of the leaves and the flowers. I'm leaving some of the paper to show through. I'm only coloring in a few of the images on camera because it is such simple coloring. But it is very fun and a very fast way to color. I even come in with my white Jelly Roll pen and color in some of the leaves with that and it just adds a cute look to it. These Moonlight Jelly Roll pens are really fun to work with. They even show up on your black cardstock and you can do some fun techniques with that. There are a lot of different Jelly Roll pen sets. I have the Metallics as well and I believe there's one called Souffle which is kind of puffy. But the Moonlight Jelly Rolls are the ones I use the most. I also stamped out the image with the flower and the leaves around it twice. I colored it in and then I fussy cut this image. I've popped them up with some foam adhesive and I'm placing them at the corners of my frame. The foam tape really helps them to stand out a little bit from the background because I did stamp them on more of the Nina Desert Storm cardstock. To tack down the acetate onto my card panel, I'm putting some glue behind the flower arrangements on the corners. And this will keep it in place, but you won't be able to see any glue anywhere else. I chose a piece of bright green cardstock to mat this. I cut this down so it's a little bit smaller than my A2 sized card base, which is five and a half by four and a quarter. I really love how this green cardstock just brings out the green in my card panel. I'm going to use a little bit of liquid adhesive behind this panel and attach that down. I also pulled out some beautiful enamel dots from Trinity. These are called Fortune Teller, and I just love these. I use these a lot lately. I'm just going to glue a few of them down right onto the acetate. I do allow this to dry for a while before I move the card too much. But the glue behind these enamel dots will dry clear. And here is a close-up look at my finished card. I just love how the acetate brings its own kind of sparkle to this card project. I hope you all enjoyed my video and will give this fun technique, stamping on acetate, a try. I'll have the link to this stamp set and all of the supplies I used listed below and over at my blog. I'll be back really soon with some more card projects. In the meantime, take care everyone. Bye.